Hi guys. Um, today's project is we're going to kind of modernize this old DVR um, to put into the Antec case. I had bought a spindle of a hundred blank DVDs that the uh, new burner does not work with. It just doesn't like them at all. Um, so I want to put in the older burner that I know will use them discs but I don't really care for the way it's kind of that off-white beige and as you can see it's gonna look kind of silly in there so we're gonna take it apart and uh, try to paint it make it look a little better and then we'll mount her in there okay I'm taking it apart I thought maybe some of you might wanna see how you take these off um, on the bottom of this front cover there's a couple of little tabs. One's right there and one down at the other end. Basically you just push them in and lift off. Um, these benzel covers just kind of slide right on there and lock into place. So you can pop that off without taking the tray and step out. And then on the front cover piece this piece right here. They have little tabs on these also. I'll slide this on so you can see. You can see how it's kind of lining up with the holes here. And basically you just need to take a little screwdriver and go around and push in all these little pins and that'll pop this front cover off so you can slide that off. So here's our two pieces. So we're just going to clean these up and get them ready to paint. Okay, just something else I wanted to mention in case anybody was wondering. Uh, once you take your CD-ROM or DVD out, um, how you open it to get the tray out. Uh, I think pretty much everybody's seen that you have the little uh, pinholes in the front of your uh, CD-ROM. What that little hole is for is to put like a paper clip or a small piece of metal, something stiff anyway, in there so you can push on this release for the tray. I don't know if I can get a shot of that, but what that release is, is basically just a bar that once you push down on that, that's going to unlock the tray so that you can pull it out of there. And once that's pushed down, the tray pops loose and then you can slide it on out so that you can get at this front cover and remove it. Um, anything else that you might need to do with it. And we're spraying this with some of this plastic coat. It's plastic bond enamel in black. Uh, pretty good stuff. Goes on a little thicker than I care for, but really makes a good bond to plastic. Um, so if you're painting anything plastic that you don't want to sand down, like these front covers, I don't want to remove the DVD emblem and stuff off of them. Um, so we're going to use this stuff to put on there so we don't have to put a bunch of primer or do a bunch of sanding. And it should stick pretty good. We're uh, going to wait for it to dry and we'll see what it looks like when we put it back together. Okay, the paint's still a little bit tacky, but we were able to put it back together. Uh, as you can see, you can still make out the DVD and the uh, disc part here. It didn't uh, interfere with any of the lettering on it. We decided to keep the rest of it just stock. We could also take the metal pieces out and paint them if you wanted. Uh, this is an old drive, just something I'm using till I run out of uh, discs and that spindle, so I'm not going to bother tearing it down anymore. Uh, we're going to mount it up in there and see how it looks. Okay, here it is up and running. Uh, I don't know if you can see that very well. It's not very light in here. But it looks pretty good. It's not perfect. It should have been probably a flat black instead of a gloss. But it certainly looks a lot better than the white or beige color it was. Blends in with the case. So I might end up leaving it in there for a while. If I do decide to use it for extended amount of time, I will just take it out and uh, clean it up and do it in a flat black like the other one. But... That's a, a cheap, easy way to make them look good. I hope that helps some of you out. If you have any questions, let me know. Um, thanks for watching.